So in this problem, we have a box B of mass 6 kilos lies at rest on a fixed rough horizontal shelf. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to annotate the diagram as we go. So we have a weight of 6G and a vertical reaction force R. One end of a light inextensible string is connected to B. The string passes over a smooth peg attached to the end of the shelf. The other end of the string is connected to particle P of mass 1.5 kilos, which hangs freely below the shelf as shown in the diagram. So particle P will have a weight of 1.5 G. Oh, sorry, G. Now there will be tension in the string working upwards from P and tension in the string to the right of B. B is initially held at rest with the string taut. B is then released and B and P move with constant acceleration A meters per second per second. Okay, so that will be the direction of motion. So B will move to the right, P will move downwards. As B moves across the shelf, it experiences a total resistance force of 4 newtons. So that would be friction and air resistance combined, essentially. So 4 newtons will act against the direction of motion. OK, so part A, find A, the acceleration of the system. So for part A, what I'll do is I will uh, resolve horizontally for particle B. So resolve to the right for B. So let's, uh, let's identify that. So I'm working with particle B. I'm going to resolve to the right. So I've got the tension. Take away the 4 Newton force is going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. OK, so I'm using Newton's second law here. And then for particle P, I'm going to resolve taking downwards as positive and I'll have 1.5 g take away the tension is equal to the mass times the acceleration. So if I add those two equations together, the t's are going to cancel. I'm going to have 1.5 g take away 4 is equal to 7.5 a. And so a is going to be equal to 1.5 g take away 4 over 7.5. Okay, so let's see if we can get that nicely. I'll, I'll work with g as 9.8. That's 107 over 75 meters per second per second. Okay, so that's a. So uh, 107 over 75 meters per second per second. And of course, I could round that as well, but I won't use the rounded form in, in the next calculation. So that'd be 1.43 meters per second per second to three sig fig. Okay, so that is a uh, first year A-level maths mechanics problem. So part B, when B has moved forward exactly 25 centimetres, the string breaks. Find how much further B travels before coming to rest. Of course, we could use uh, SUVAT to do that. Of course, I'm going to be using an energy method for this. So what I do need is I'm going to need T. Okay, I'm going to need to know what the tension is. Now, seeing as I've worked out what A is, I can plug that back in to work out what T is. So T is equal to 4 plus 6 lots of A. So 107 over 75. So times by 6, add on 4, and we get 314 over 25. So 12.56 newtons. Okay, so that's my tension. Okay, so now um, I'm going to use the work energy principle, 
So the initial gravitational potential energy plus the initial kinetic energy plus or minus the work done is equal to the final gravitational potential energy plus the final kinetic energy. So we're working with particle B here. It's working horizontally across the shelf. And so GPE initially will be zero. The initial kinetic energy, because it is held at rest initially, will be zero. OK. Right, then we've got the work done by the tension. Now, the tension is 12.56 newtons. And that will be acting for the first 25 centimetres. OK, so one, it'll only be working for those 25 centimetres because then the string breaks. And once the string breaks, the tension will be zero. So we will have 12.56 times by 0.25 metres. OK, that's the work done by the tension. That's the energy put in by the tension. Now, the frictional force, however, is constant throughout the whole motion. So that will be take away four times. Now, we need to think about what the distance is. Now, it's going to travel 25 centimetres first, and then this extra distance, and that's what I want to calculate. So I want 0.25 plus some distance d. OK, and I'll call that D, because that's what I want to calculate here. Find out how much further B travels before coming to rest. Now, that's going to be equal to the final GPE, which is 0, and the final kinetic energy, which will be 0, because it's at rest. OK, so we have 12.56 times 0.25 is 3.14 and that's going to be equal to 4 lots of 0.25 plus d so 3.14 divided by 4 take away the 0.25 and we get 0.535 meters and so that is how much further b travels before coming to rest, and here for part B we're using the work energy principle.